I'm here, having watched Dan on a previous video, I'm here to correct him. He's got a few little quirks and foibles because he's a shotgunner and a full ball rifle shooter, and he's really getting into his air guns, and I'm an air gun shooter. So I'm gonna give Dan everything he needs to be as good with an air rifle as he is with a shotgun and a full bore rifle. Shooting an air rifle successfully relies on one thing, stability. Remember Dan, in your world of shotguns, you've got multiple projectiles. In your world of full bore rifles, you've got a couple of 3,000 foot pounds. Yep. With one of these, you've got 11 and a bit. Okay, non-FAC, superb rifle, unbelievably accurate, RTI Arms P3 Compact. This will put a pellet through a wedding ring at 55, 60 yards, if you're good enough. But you need to be stable. And the first thing I'm, I'm gonna to introduce to your world is this set of sticks. Even with the experience I have and the years of doing it, I don't take a, a hunting shot over 30 yards without being on a stick. And I would take every single shot I can yep. off some sort of support. So we're gonna introduce that and then I'm gonna teach you the principles, and at the same time, I'm gonna correct some of the things I saw on that video. Okay. You up for it? Yeah, definitely, Good. 100%. Brilliant. Right, the first thing we've introduced is stability via the sticks. Get yourself a decent set of sticks. I prefer the three-legged ones, they're more stable, but yep. even a, a monopod is better than using your magnificent bicep to hold that rifle up shot after shot. Okay, get behind the scope. Okay, use that front hand, rest that nicely because with the stick, you've got a yeah. lovely grip down here. What you wanna do now is to start relaxing. Okay, so look down the scope, both eyes open if you can. Put your finger on that trigger, lovely two-stage trigger on these. Crosshairs in the center yeah. and squeeze that off. Now that was as firm a hit as you could have. Okay, and while you did that, I saw two of the things that you did when you were on your video, that we're, we're gonna correct them in the next phase. Okay. Right, well, that's a good start. Well. So we're ready for the next one. Cock the rifle, all the way back, all the way forward. This time, yep. what I want you to do, I want you to keep your eye behind the scope, the trigger back for, for a second, and then let it go forward. Okay. Don't do that, Right. which is what you were doing. I'm snatching. On that video, yeah. Yeah, I'm snatching. You're snatching at the trigger. You don't need to do that. That's introducing all sorts of movement that yep. we don't need. So try it again. Same sort of thing, nice and relaxed, both eyes open, brilliant, tip of the finger on the trigger, that's perfect. Brilliant, you just kept it back for a little while yeah. before you released it. There is no benefit at all in going like that, pushing that trigger forward. Now you're saying I can feel the snatch on the first shot where that yeah. one's more smooth. Yeah, right, let's go for another one. Recock the rifle, all the way back, that's it. Now settle into the shot. And this time, I want you to consciously think to get the tension out of here, Yeah. all right? What you're doing, this is good. What you've got on here is good. This jack pipe fleece is a good thing because it's gonna set up a barrier between your impressive physique and your rifle. This is where your, your wonderful muscles will let you down because worth shooting apparel in the world is a vest. Even you know, right. when it's red hot outside, yeah. you go shooting in the vest because you've got a direct connection between your muscles and your nerves and your twitches and, and the rifle. Now you want to put a barrier in there. So you put a bit of a pattern on it. You want to put a bit of suppression in there. So whatever you do, wear a gilet, something like this. Yep. You can keep your arms free. If you want to be um, keep yourself cool, wear shorts, unless you're rampaging through brambles or something. But get, get a buffer zone between you and the rifle. And remember, all this seems complicated now. Mm. Both eyes open, trigger tip on the thing. Yeah. Uh, after a while, after repetition, it, you won't do it any other way. So would you say the be more, how you do it? The more tense you are, the more your body would twitch, and the more relaxed you are, the less you. Exactly twitch. that. You can't maintain tension. Yeah. You can maintain no tension because you're not doing any work. Mm. What happens is you start off really tense for the first two or three shots, and then it starts to relax. Yeah. So you change the circumstances of you. You change the way you hold stuff. Yeah. Let's get behind that scope. Conscious relaxation. So think about relaxing your shoulders, your, your back. When you're ready, first stage up, nice and relaxed. Perfect, hold the trigger back. That's good though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. That's already. It's funny though, because when, when I'm looking at the target on my own, as soon as you're like, right, let's go, I start wobbling. So I think the pressure's on yeah. to be hitting the target. But, but that, you see, even then, and this is a very, very good point I'd like everybody to consider. If your technique and your stance can stand 
nerves and tension, you're still, when you're not nervous, when you're out here on your own, it would be brilliant. The tension and the nerves will find out a weak stance. Mm. So they're good. It's a good thing. We're putting you under, under a bit of a test here, but always sound technique and a sound stance and yeah. sound grip, <clears throat> that's always better to have because it will stand up to, yeah. the, to the pressure. Whereas a, a sloppy technique, yeah. especially with these things, they're not the best teachers. A springer no. is the best teacher. Right. These things will bring you instant success, but they get you into bad habits. Okay. So we're already working. If you carry on doing what we're doing, we've done at least three of your, yeah. your previous bad habits.